Hi, my name is David Morrison. I'm a NASA space scientist, and I want to talk to you very briefly about Nibiru. I'm doing this because I received a note from a 12-year-old girl recently that said she wondered if the video I made two years ago was still valid, that she and her classmates were scared about Nibiru, and could I please explain, from a science point of view, why we know Nibiru is not real and is not a danger. You know, the, the simplest thing to say is just that there is no credible evidence whatever for the existence of Nibiru. Uh, there are no pictures, there's no tracking, there's no astronomical observations. In fact, the origin of the name is a little weird. Nibiru was a minor god in the Babylonian pantheon, probably associated with Jupiter. There's no record that they ever thought of it as a planet. Sometimes we talk about planet X, but that's a strange term too, because astronomers say planet X for an object that has not been found, a, a possible object like Pluto, when it was being searched for, it was called planet X. Once it was found, it became Pluto. So it really isn't any evidence here to counter, but I can quite specifically say how we know that Nibiru or planet X does not exist and does not threaten the Earth. First, if there were a planet headed into the inner solar system that was going to come close to the Earth in December of 2012, it would already be inside the orbit of Mars. It would be bright. It would be easily visible to the naked eye. If it were up there, you could see it. All of us could see it. And the crazy thing is people who say they are observing it but never tell us where to look so we can verify. Well, it doesn't take an astronomer to say that there's no bright object up there that's appeared in the night sky and is headed for Earth. Second, if Nibiru were real and it were a planet with a substantial mass, then it would already be perturbing the orbits of Mars and the Earth. We would see changes in those orbits due to this rogue object coming into the inner solar system. Astronomers measure the orbit of Earth and Mars precisely and frequently, and there has been no change whatever. Third, and perhaps most telling, if this object had come through the solar system in the past, and, and you remember the, the idea is it's on an orbit of 3,600 years, if it had come through in the past, its gravity would have messed up the orbits of the inner planets, the Earth, Venus, Mars, probably would have stripped the moon away completely. Instead, in the inner solar system, we see planets with stable orbits. We see the moon going around the Earth. The very existence of this stability in the inner solar system proves that no rogue planet, no interfering object has come through the inner solar system in at least a million years. So it's not real. Nibiru doesn't exist. We can't see it. We can't detect its gravity and we don't see a signature of its previous passages because there weren't any. Now, some people change the story around and say, well, Nibiru isn't even a planet. It's a brown dwarf with planets going around it or, or something like that. Everything I've said would be worse with a massive object like a brown dwarf. That would have been tracked by astronomers for a decade or more, and it would already have really affected planetary orbits. So please, Get over it. Nibiru isn't real. Planet X isn't real. We don't have to worry about this hoax.